What's up, YouTube peeps? It's Jeff. I'm back again for maybe a full day vlog. I don't know. I'm still kind of figuring that out. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to go grocery shopping, get some stuff, and then we're going to... <laughs> I'm going to hopefully do a meal prep today. Uh, just basic chicken, steak, and all that good stuff, and probably some overnight oats for breakfast. And, uh, yeah, get back on this grind of... Uh, trying to do a bulk i know summer's always I'm, I'm just making excuses now but summer's always that difficult one because i don't know you just, i feel like i don't want to get fat when you know it's not like i go out and uh go to the beach anyway or have my shirt off half the time so it, it should not really matter but i don't know but like i said getting to the end of summer this is what day 12 end of summer challenge day 12 but uh yeah cheers let's get this day started i'll probably check back with you guys after the grocery store grocery stores because i don't know i don't think people really enjoy watching me go through the grocery store and buy stuff I, I'm, not, I'm not talking about you guys i'm sure you guys love that stuff I'm, i mean like the people in the grocery store probably don't want me filming because yeah Another car. Awesome. All right, I'll check back with you guys in a little bit. See ya. And I'm back uh, from the grocery store. So I just uh, marinated up some chicken. I just cut it up into some bite-sized pizzas. Pizzas, yeah, pieces. And uh, I put some of this Lupo's Speedy Marinade sauce on. If you never had that before, I uh, don't know if they sell it like online. You can check, they might ship it to you. But uh, I think it's like Southern Tier, Binghamton, New York area but delicious. You just cut all your pieces up into bite-sized pizza. Pieces, not pizzas. <laughs> pizza must be on my mind for some reason. But you let it marinate. You can marinate it up to two days. I'll probably just do it for a little bit over a day. Not even. Probably like eight hours. I'll probably cook it up tonight. Um, you just throw it on skewers, throw it on the grill, and it is super tasty. But uh, yeah, other than that, uh, pretty much just basic stuff from the grocery store, steak, chicken, uh, I think got some sausage as well, uh, Italian sausage, bagels, peanut butter, and, uh, some veggies, I think I got asparagus for the steak, and then broccoli for the chicken. Uh, other than that, pretty basic, and I think I got, like, here and there things like pasta and other filler stuff, but, uh, yeah, and then also, a little update on uh, after yesterday, because I was like saying that I didn't do anything the day before. As soon as I finished that video yesterday, I went to town on that. <laughs> so, uh, ripped all the uh, carpet out, and then all the staples. That was the tedious part, because there was a crap ton of staples that I had to get out. Probably something like 100 to... 150 staples, I think, but they're all out, so no guarantees. But maybe, maybe I'll lay the floor sometime today. But I think my main focus today is meal prepping for the week. Um, I seem to always fall out really quickly uh, when I try to start doing a bulk, and uh, this one I'm going to try to keep it as simple as possible, where I'm just going to make all my meals. Uh, have them all pre-packaged, uh, labeled for what time I'm going to eat them. Even set alarms for <laughs> saying, eat now. Just make it super simple. Don't even have to think about it. Just eat and hopefully see results. But uh, yeah, I'll probably check back with you guys either when I'm making some of the food or maybe during a workout. Uh, I'm still kind of debating on what kind of workout I want to do. Like I said, I have been doing the legs push pull, and I kind of like that, but I might want to, you know, change it up a little bit, change the variety, just to try to get something a little different. Maybe maybe the legs push pull isn't the greatest thing for me, because uh, obviously I'm not seeing too many results. But, again, working out is just a small percentage of it. It's the diet that I need to get in check to really hopefully see results. So hopefully if I start meal prepping and like I said, just set alarms and be like, eat this now, this package container one, 
eat at 6 a.m., container two, we eat at, you know, whatever, 9, 10 a.m., container three, so on, container four, five, six. Then I just take any thought out of it. It's just like, eat this now. <laughs> Calories in, go. <laughs> so hopefully that will help me a little bit more. I know before, like 10 years ago, when I actually was gaining weight, that's how I did it. And that was the best result for me because, again, I just don't have to think about it. I just eat and, yeah. All right, rant over. Check back with you guys probably when I'm working out. See ya. All right, so I've been looking up some different uh, workouts. And I think I settled on one. I was going to do this one like a couple months ago, but I don't know. Never really panned out. And I think I just went back to the legs push-pull. But... Recently, I've been really enjoying squats, so I'm going to try this squat every day uh, workout. So it's only a 30-day one, so probably do the 30 days of it, and then go back to legs push pull, or switch into something else. But uh, I think uh, it's on bodybuilding.com. You know, say whatever you want about the programs there. But uh, it's by Corey Gregory, I think his name is. But uh, it's pretty. Uh, light day I would say today compared to what I'm usually doing but uh this one is just a warm-up of I think there's was like a bike or something like that I don't have a bike so I'm gonna do it on either elliptical or the rower just do three minutes of warm-up then a walking lunge one set of 100 to 200 feet and then for today and for this it does different types of squats for the whole thing so today is going to be a close stance squat, 8 to 10 sets of uh, set of 10, set of 10, set of 5, set of 5, set of 3, 3, 3, and then 3 sets of 1. And then after that, it's uh, chest day. So it's going to have uh, bench press in there, uh, incline, double press, push up, and fly uh, sets for that. Bench press, there's a set of 12, 10, 8, 6. Incline dumbbells is 3 sets of 12. Push ups is 3 sets of 20. And flies is sets of 24, 3 sets. But uh, yeah, I think that should be uh, pretty interesting. Like I said, I really, I don't know, like it seems like it's either squats or deadlifts I really get into. I really enjoy them. But they usually aren't at the same time. Uh, like, when I went home a couple weeks ago, squats were kind of a little weak, and the deadlifts were just, I was pulling those like it was nothing. I think I hit a couple of PRs of, uh, I think I hit a set of 280. Sounds about right. 280 or 285, I believe, for, I think I did those for doubles when I was back, uh, working out a couple weeks ago with my one buddy. I think I was talking about in a couple of videos ago about the motivation of being able to get into a gym and just have the music blaring and just having a good setting and being able to lift crazy amounts of weight. Uh, I'm sure it's it's nothing for most people, 280, but for me that, like I said, it was a PR. And uh, at my current weight of 164, 165, I think that's, uh, that's pretty decent. Uh, it's obviously not double my body weight, but baby steps, baby steps. But, uh, yeah, I'll check back with you guys. I don't know. I might film the workout. I might not. I don't know. Depends on what kind of motivation. But I'll check back with you guys either for that or for the meal prep of the chicken and the steak on the grill. Uh, I think the chicken's been marinated for roughly like four hours now. So probably give it like another three or four hours and cook it up for dinner and have a little bit for dinner and then like I said space it out for meals for the whole week make it simple so I can just keep with my meal plan but yeah I'll check back with you guys in the next part see you <sighs> yeah should be a fun day today I was saying before, I'm going to be doing a squat every day. Look at those legs. Hopefully they get nice and bigger compared to a 
how nice calves I have. But yeah, where's I going with this train of thought? Squat shoes. I think I did a, I did a, I did do a review on them, like a first look kind of thing. But uh, that was like two months ago. I love these things. These things are so awesome. They get you locked in for uh, a squat, and it just it feels so much more smoother when you're, uh, you know, coming down to death on it. It doesn't. My knees seem to be more locked in solid so I would definitely recommend pick up a pair of squat shoes if you're, uh, if you're doing any kind of uh, Olympic lifting or even just like me just doing using them for squats I think they make the squatting just ten times better feeling amazing compared to what they used to and I feel like I can feel more at like the higher weights, it just seems like it's it's a little more solid feeling on the legs. Like I was saying, it, it kind of locks you in and the knees don't seem like they bother me as much because it's more of a fluid motion. But yeah, I'm going to get my workout done. Probably not going to record too much of it just because I'd rather just get it done and not have to worry about all the crazy camera angles and I'm sure we're already at like... 10 minutes so and we haven't even done the uh the meal prep yet so i'm just gonna leave it at that like i was saying before it's gonna be close close stance uh which we call it squats today and then a bench day um I'll probably, I'll probably try to do this whole program for the 30 days. It's only 30 days, so it's not like I'm committing myself for a couple months into a program. I'm not a bit, it's pretty much following like a five day split of each individual body part, like uh, chest one day and arms. Like doing that five day split where everything's separate. And I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of that just because I like to get the um, multiple times a week in, like with the legs push pull, you're hitting every body part at least twice a week. Um, but again, just trying this out. Always enjoyed uh, squatting. Like I said, squatting and deadlifting are my two favorite movements in the gym, just because I don't know. I feel like you get more of a body rush off of it. Just the uh, adrenaline you get from. Uh, Squatting and deadlifting. Deadlifting seems to really give you that, at least to me, gives you that whole body just euphoria. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'll check back with you guys. Probably more meal prepping. All right, see ya. Holy crap, that workout killed me. <laughs> I don't know, I think it was just more of, I don't think it was the actual workout. I think it was just I'm tired. <laughs> I don't know. A little weird, but yeah, that workout beat the living crap out of me. <laughs> I think it was mostly the squats that were just, whew, I don't know, a little too crazy. But uh, I'll check back with you guys probably in like an hour when I meal prep. All right, I'm gonna give you guys an update of craziness. All right. So, meal prepping right now. Just have, I got steak, and chicken foodies, and then asparagus in the back there. One thing on the steak is just salt and pepper. On the asparagus is olive oil, salt and pepper, or no, olive oil, garlic salt and pepper. And then, like I said, chicken foodies just have the speedy marinade on there. But, uh, yeah, uh, I'm just gonna finish all this up and, uh, this will probably be the end of the video. Uh, I, don't, I don't think you guys want to watch me put this stuff into our main containers. But, yeah. Figured that would be, uh, you guys see all the good food in there. And uh, that's my excitement for the week. Uh, the only other thing is just uh, potatoes. I'll probably just cook those up in either the oven or just uh, put them in the pot and cook them up. It's pretty easy. Just put 
get a pot, put some butter. Well, I put some like fake butter in there, uh, since of the lactose tolerance. Um, I got it right here. It's called Smart Balance. It's a non-dairy uh, butter. But I put that in there. Let it melt up with the potatoes, and then just put like salt and pepper, or even that garlic salt in there, and they taste amazing. They taste like something you would have uh, made all day long, and yeah, only took like 10 minutes tops. But uh, yeah, I'll check back with you guys tomorrow for the next day of this end of summer challenge. See ya.